Hey guys, it's Robert. Um, I realize it's been a little, a little bit since I've done a mental health related ASMR video. And I do want to get back to doing some more things like that. So I'm bringing you something um, new today. I was listening recently to a podcast um, that I listen to every so often. It was called the Sex Nerd Sandra podcast. And it's about relationships, sex, sensuality, body image, all kinds of things related to that really good podcast, I definitely suggest checking it out, particularly if you are, you know, of age. <laughs> um, but the guest on this episode of her podcast was talking about her struggles and her history with um, body dysmorphic disorder, which is basically, a, you know, a, a pathological obsession with the idea that your body is, is not what it's supposed to be. It doesn't... Um, it's not even just about not being beautiful or not being pretty, that there's something wrong with it, that it needs to change. And really there's kind of a disconnect there. I don't want to get too deeply into that issue in particular because this isn't quite what that's about. But one thing that she talked about that really kind of piqued my interest was that something that has really helped her feel more in her body and to understand the fact that there are actually emotions underlying the symptoms there. You know, it's not just about her body, it's about what's underneath there. And it's an expression of those things. And to help her understand that, one of the most helpful questions to ask herself was, where are you feeling your emotions and, and how would you describe them? And that's something that's not easy for a lot of people to do, particularly in issues like that. Also, people who are, um, you know, alcoholics or drug abusers, where instead of engaging that emotion and recognizing it, it's pushing it away or covering it up or disconnecting from it somehow. So I developed a little exercise. Um, I just kind of whipped this up really quickly right now on the computer. Um, and it's something that I had done a bit last night um, in here. This is my personal journal and I kind of workshopped this out with myself last night. And this is an exercise that you can do to help start that process of um, integrating your emotions a bit more into the person you are and understanding them. And at least even um, at a basic level recognizing that emotions are there and that they reside within you somewhere. So. The idea with this one is you want to be descriptive. You want to try to understand, describe your emotions. So I'm going to include this little um, handout as a picture. I think I'll just link an imager or whatever I can find that will host it for free. Link so that you can print this out if you want to. Um, I do suggest using a separate page for each of the emotions that you focus on. And basically what you do is you just think of an emotion that you want to start with. And I suggest starting with something that's familiar to you, something that that comes to mind easier. You know, if you're having a really hard time understanding um, your feelings of anger that other people are talking about, but you don't understand, maybe that's not such a great place to start. But maybe you're really familiar with the feeling of love or um, sadness or something else that it does come to mind immediately. I'd say start with that one. So I'll read through the directions here. And I wrote these myself, and I just wrote them, so I apologize if there's any typos or anything like that. But I put here, use a separate page for each emotion that you want to focus on. Try to think of an emotion that you would like to understand more about. St start with something that is easy for you to imagine. Picture a situation that brings about this emotion and try to feel what you would feel like. So this is combining a little bit of exposure to that emotion. So you're not going to be in a position necessarily where you are truly experiencing a firsthand sort of, um, you know, being hit by that emotion. But this is asking you to imagine a situation that would bring about that emotion. 
So the first step is to close your eyes and search yourself to notice where in your body you feel this emotion that you've imagined. So I'm going to draw on something that's not a serious uh, issue at the moment, but it is something that comes to mind very easily. And funny enough, that is anger because, um, well, okay, I'll take you there. So. I'm going to close my eyes right now, just like I say in this first step. So I'm going to close my eyes, and I'm actually going to imagine a situation that's anger-provoking for me. So what I'm imagining is my downstairs neighbors, because I really dislike them, and they're very inconsiderate with noise, with... Um, anything really noise their dog crapping all over the yard and then not picking it up them saying rude things to people as they walk by all of that and so I'm just kind of imagining a situation where I'm walking and this is uh, not too much of a stretch walking down the lawn towards my house and which was my apartment and I step in some dog crap and I know it's theirs because they're the only ones who's been allowed to have a dog that's way bigger than the limit here. And I see that their windows are open and they're blasting music and being a big old douchebag, basically. <laughs> so now I, I am feeling my emotion. So I'm feeling anger at, at this very moment. Or at least I can, I can, I can feel the sensation. I'm not being stricken by it, but I can... I can grab onto it and I could I could locate it right now. So step two is to draw the emotion on your body, front or back. So this could be the front or the back of you. Using color. There's no right answer, just draw what comes to mind. So I'm gonna do that with these nice pretty Disney Princess colored pencils because these are what I found on my wife's desk. And I don't know if we have any other colored pencils. So, give me a second to open these up. Okay. So I see this red one. And I'm just going to go for it. So, again, I'm putting myself in that place, imagining... And you can draw additional detail on here if you want to, which I think I will. Um, just gonna add. Sorry about that. My phone. A couple eyes and a nose, and a mouth here. So that's my drawing there, and I'll explain it. Um, but before I do, I want to show you the last part of this exercise, and that is to use these two prompts below to describe your emotion. So what I want you to do is to describe your emotion in, in very sensory terms. This is something that you're trying to really take away from abstract sort of descriptions, right? Anger or love or sorrow or glee, happiness, all these things are very abstract concepts and they're hard to describe in, in, in a lot of people's languages and I think a workaround for that is to take it to things that you're familiar with. So what does it feel like, literally? Is it hot? Is it sharp? Is it empty? Is it color is it? You know, how do you experience this pain? That's why I said draw it in color. So when I feel anger, it's, it really starts here. It starts above my cheeks, under my eyes, 
and I feel a, I feel a heat. I think mine's probably fairly typical, and I think a lot of people feel anger in their face and with embarrassment and things like that. Um, and to me, it feels like it, it starts there and it, and it kind of grows. So I'm feeling angry and it, it, it sort of pushes out here. It arises from my, underneath my eyes and it wraps around. And really to me, I feel like it goes like around my head, like kind of like a crown. So it comes up here and then it wraps around and squeezes. So it comes up from my cheeks and it heats up and as it rises it circles its way around my head and, and constricts and there's this heat coming off of it it's, it's hot and it's red it's constricting you know and i think eventually as it starts to really settle in it kind of propagates downwards and this is on the back side now kind of down my spine and kind of fills the rest of my body as i move from anger to something like rage I'm not raging right now, so <laughs> this is about where the anger is at. So what I'm going to do is use these prompts. So the blank spaces are for the emotion that I'm focusing on, which is anger. So my anger is, and now I'm going to describe it just like I did to you. So let's see, my anger is a hot red sensation and this this doesn't need to be exact it doesn't need to sound good this just needs to be descriptive for you right now it could change over time and that's totally okay and it doesn't have to be well written or grammatically correct and you know it doesn't matter if you're calling something you know if it's a red sound or a blue you know taste it's you're allowed to have synesthesia right now. This is just for you. So, my anger is a hot red sensation that rises from my upper cheeks and fills my eye area before wrapping around my head and constricting. I realize this is not the uh, most pleasant emotion to start with, but emotions are just that. They're emotions, you know. It's don't blame yourself for having more negative or more positive. At this point, try not to put a label on it and just be descriptive. Okay, so my anger is a hot red sensation that rises from my upper cheeks and fills my eye area before wrapping around my head and constricting. I'm going to think if there's anything else that I want to attribute to it. And, you know, is there textures or sounds or other experiences that, that seem to fit? I think really the, the heat and the rising kind of captures it. Yeah, that's good. And then the next one is when you feel this. So I feel anger when, and you just need to provide one example. Think of something. It might be the thing that you were um, originally imagining to get you to this point. Or it could have been something that you thought of along the way. So, my anger, or sorry, I feel anger when I imagine my downstairs neighbors being assholes. So this is, this is anger for me. This really fits, I think. So, that's my anger. I feel it here. My anger is a hot red sensation that rises from my upper cheeks. Fills my eye area before wrapping around my head and constricting. I feel anger 
when I imagine my downstairs neighbors being assholes. Okay? So, I'll do some more, and we'll kind of go through this next one a little bit quicker, I guess. But that's the general idea. Again, the benefit of this is to kind of avoid the abstract and the um, things that don't really mean sense in and of themselves and work around it, work from language that you do understand. You experience things every day. You feel sensations every day. You know, I touch this, this notebook and it feels, I can feel the texture. You know, it feels sturdy and smooth. You see that it's black, you know, it's reflective to a certain extent, because of the gloss there. I can just experience all of the different sensory things happening. And by noticing those sensory experiences, you can begin to kind of converge the two to really integrate them. You know, so the next time, say anger was something that I had such a hard time understanding and I was really hot-headed and I got angry without knowing exactly why or, you know, I wasn't able to catch myself and I'd get myself into trouble. You know, I could do this exercise and each time approximate more closely what it really feels like to me. And the next time I realize I'm, I feel hot in my cheeks and my head feels like it's being constricted, I can say, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm feeling angry right now. I should probably go walk away instead of walking forward and getting into some sort of trouble, right? So it's just kind of another avenue of doing that. And this isn't something that, that takes one time, you know, it may be a will for you, maybe you're in tune like that, and maybe not. And things change over time, so continue to do these different emotions and try to understand more closely how it really feels to you. And over time, you'll be able to integrate those and you'll be able to have a more kind of holistic awareness of, of the way that you're feeling. Okay. So next, let's do... Hmm, let's do love. Okay, so I'm just going to write love up here. So I need to think of something and try to imagine feeling love, so... Just kind of going through images in my head, waiting till I get a hit. Something that really triggers it for me. Okay, <laughs> I definitely got it. So I'm going to go ahead and draw it right now. Um, the picture that I was imagining, and this is personal to me, so be gentle with the comments. So I was imagining, you know, a bright morning sunlight kind of gently flowing in through the window, and I imagine my wife and my dog laying on the couch taking a nap together, just peaceful as can be. And that sort of really brings up this feeling for me, so I'm going to grab the color here. Not pink, it's not quite what I'm looking for. And my drawings will be different than yours. Mine are simplistic because I'm not an artist, um, but I'm just trying to draw whatever feels the most right. Okay, so let's get drawing here. Um, you can go ahead and draw a little approximation of a heart there, just for reference.
that's that's mine. And uh, it's very wispy, as you can see. It's very kind of in sharp contrast to the Inger, which is very jagged and and biting, you know, and kind of like a, mm. this is like a sigh of relief, you know. And so I'm just gonna go for it. My love is a blue blue light that originates in my upper chest and flows outward and around me like a blanket then it moves up and tickles my I'm feeling it right now my neck and makes me my shoulders. I was doing that and you can't see behind the camera but I'm kind of like after it. So it starts here and it kind of pours out and wraps around me like a shawl or a blanket and then I and then it kind of moves up and I raise my shoulders like it's like a ah, sort of feeling. It's very pleasant obviously. This is love. This is what it is to me. So my love is a blue light that originates in my upper chest and flows outward and around me like a blanket. Then it moves up and tickles my neck and makes me raise my shoulders. I feel love when I imagine my life and little dog. Peaceful and happy. So, my love is the blue light that originates in my upper chest and flows outward and around me like a blanket. Then it moves up and tickles my neck and makes me raise my shoulders. That also happens to me when I get really strong ASMR. <laughs> I feel love when I imagine my wife and my little dog being peaceful and happy. Okay, so those are two. I'm going to leave it at that for now. Um, another one that I could do, which I did last night, I'm not going to redo it right now, but just to get an idea of other ways that you might describe things. I did one for longing or yearning, right? When you're when you're missing something, you're you're longing for it. And for me, that's a it's kind of a brownish yellow substance that I think would be sweet to the taste because it has a pleasant quality to it. So it's a sweet but sticky, and it feels like it hit me right in this area. So like the sternum, like below where this originates, I feel like it just like someone threw a softball at me and it just whoosh, hit me in the sternum and it's sitting there and it's kind of slowly dripping off. So it's sticky, yellowish, brown, that's, that's sweet, but it's also heavy and just kind of coating. <laughs> so that's the description that I came up with for my longing feeling. Um, I encourage you guys to try these out, you know, print these out or make one for yourself. It's easy enough to draw a little stick figure and draw some colors on it if you don't want to waste the ink or paper. Um, if you feel like making a video from this, let me know. Write it in the comments and leave a link to it. I'd love to see your interpretations of this. Um, otherwise, just do this privately for yourself. Try different emotions. Try love. Try happiness. Try... Um, jealousy, 
you know, there's so many words, so many emotions. Start with ones that come easily and then move towards ones that are a bit more of a challenge and really try to understand. Say you don't know the emotion, but you know you got it at a certain time. Start there. Start with the event. Put yourself in those shoes. Describe it and then come back and try to identify what it is that you were feeling. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I hope you got something out of this. Please let me know if this was good for you, if you'd like to, to do uh, more mental health stuff kind of like this in the future, I'd be happy to. Um, and until then, I will see you guys later.